G'day friends and welcome to our um, Sad Day Anything Goes. It's Vicky Wright and welcome to my channel also. So today, um, well last month I shared a couple of pages with you, created with the, um, scrapbook pages I should say, created with the Pretty in Pink Basic, Pretty in Pink Christmas Basics and Pretty in Pink Christmas papers, um, both from Paper Rose. So I thought today what I'd do is grab some of the scraps, and I mean scraps, I have a lot of scraps left over, and I'm going to create um, a Christmas card. That's what I've been creating this week with um, my Christmas cards from. So I thought we'd um, just do one together. So, so if don't forget to click on the link below, and you will be taken to Robbie's um, channel to check out to see what she's created today. Okay, so we'll just grab our bits and pieces. Now I've already pre-cut most of it. Um, well, all of it actually. So, put those aside I've grabbed them for the inside and our envelope and we've got a couple of pieces of basic white one is for the inside and one is what we're going to be working on so what I did was I just chopped up some pieces that were left over well I didn't really have to chop much because they were already in the right size so what we're going to do is stick this to the bottom of our card, just like that. Okay. It's going to be an easy project. Now this is pretty, pretty paper. It's got a, um, a gloss coating on it. And it's pretty thick too, actually. I think it's about, I think it's on here. 200 GSM. So it's fairly thick and it's good that it is so thick, I like it, because you can do three project, 3D projects with it too. Okay, so we're just going to do that like that. Okay, then we're going to grab this piece. And we're going to stick this piece to the top. Now, you can still create this type of card um, with... Um, just two pieces of paper or you could have three well I've got three four if you wanted to so you could even do one and forget about the bottom bit but as I said I haven't really cut this to size I just found a couple of pieces that were already the size I wanted and I decided to go with these so all we're doing is sticking these pieces down with a piece of white showing between each piece and look at that our card is nearly done now the biggest problem is do we go for a Grey granite background, base card, which I quite like because it gives it a soft look. Or do we go for the basic black, which I also like. But in this instance, because it's a Christmas card, we might go for the basic, I mean the grey granite, eh? So what we'll do, just fold our base card in half. Making sure our sides or edges line up properly. Grab our bone folder and just burnish along that scored line. Stick this.
Look at that. You could have had a white base card if you wanted to. That would have also looked quite nice with white on white. Then what we're going to do is the inside of our card. And I think I will flip this over and do the opposite side. Now I do have a tutorial coming up for the um, 6x8 album that we did last month. I've just had a few things happening this week and last week. And I, I did that the wrong side, so that's all right. And I've sort of um, trying to catch up. But we're getting there. Now where's our scissors? So we're just going to chop this off. Put it aside. And we're just going to put that down there like that. And stick this to the inside of our card. And we're nearly done. Then what we're going to do is bring in a couple of die cuts. So we get a whole pack of die cuts. And I've also got, um, if I can get into them. Can't get into them. I've also um, fussy cut a lot from um, the papers as well. Because you always get a sheet of um, shapes to cut out. So I'm thinking we might do something like this, eh? Or should we just do presents? Where's our little presents? We could do that. I love the Beatles. Leave that for the moment. Oops. Look at all these, aren't they great? And I think that will do us, eh? And we'll just arrange these. Okay. So we'll just we could still use that. How does that look? I think that's what we'll go for, eh? So what we're going to do is pop all these up. That's what we're going to do. You could do this one um, flat if you wanted to, but sometimes I don't like, um, I like the, um, sometimes it can get swallowed up with the um, DSP or the pattern paper. So I like to sort of pop it up 
my images away from the paper a little bit. That way they don't get um, lost. All right. And we will just pop this up now. And I might just put one underneath that corner just to hold it into place or give it some support. There. Look at that. And then we'll do our sentiment. So what I'm thinking is we could easily do that or what we might do is just stamp a Merry Christmas and I think we'll do it in, well let's see what, I think we might do it in basic black or not basic black, sorry, um, Memento Tuxedo Black. I want to pick up now. There you are. Okay, let's try basic black. And if it's no good, we can always go for something else. So I always stamp on the scrap paper first. Just to make sure that it's nice and straight. And then we'll stamp straight onto our cards, our strip of cardstock. And that's pretty good. So what we'll do is just trim that off. We might trim this a little bit. And we'll make this end. Into a little banner, eh? And that looks pretty good. So what we'll do now is pop this up. You could use um, adhesive strips if you wanted to. But I'm just going to actually cut off the edges. And put it on like that. We need one more. Quick and easy, eh? Probably just one. And now I'm going to turn this upside down. For some reason, this works better for me. But I don't always stick it down straight away. I like for it to just sit there so that I know that I've actually got it straight. And that looks pretty straight to me. And then I will press it into place. Okay. Now, the bling. I've got a lot of bling that we can use. But I'm thinking we might use pearls on it. Just to make it a little bit more elegant. 
We do have the basic grain smoky slate pearls, but I think the pearls look nice. And we're just going to go for the little ones, eh? Go. How's that look? And that is our card for today. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to click on the link below in the description to um, head over to my blog to see what Robbie has created. Okay, thanks for joining me. Enjoy your week and we'll see you next time. See ya. Hooray.